Well, folks, this crappie trip turned into a multi-species day, and you're going to want to stick around for the last one. Don't miss it. Well, good morning, folks. Welcome back to Rod's Fishing Adventures. We're back out on our lake. It has been a couple weeks since I've been here. Uh, yes, I did shave the beard. Trimmed her down, anyway. Um, my depth finder doesn't seem to be working this morning so we're going to try to catch them the way we did the last time we was here i don't even know what the water temperature is right now because my i can't get her to work right this morning so we'll see if we can catch a few of these crappies so come along with me we'll do some vertical jig in the boat around some brush piles and stuff when we get to them but until we get to them we'll just troll on down along these rock piles and this rip wrap to see if we can catch a few. There we go. Yep, yeah, goggle eye. Very nice one. There's our first fish. See ain't what we're after, but there's our first fish. A little crappie. That's what we're looking for, but he's a little bit on the small side. Oops. And a little crappie. Three species so far, crappie, bluegill, and warmouth. Nothing big other than that one warmouth. <laughs> bluegill. Bluegill. I'm thinking these bigger crappie probably went deeper though. Said I don't have no way to tell what the water temperature is or anything like that. I just wish. Oh wow! Once the weatherman could predict the wind right. Five to ten mile an hour today. It's already blown 15 to 20 probably. Nice warm out. Dang, gone. <laughs> Big old bluegill. Just got in his bed. Ow. Pretty decent bluegill. He ain't huge, he probably, he probably five inches. A noisy bird. Okay, 
Yeah. Yeah. Small one. Probably Small caught one. probably caught a million of them little warmouth goggle eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna go to deeper water, I think. My, they my, probably moved out deeper. Yeah, my my dang depth finder ain't working this morning. I don't even know what the water temperature is. Uh this says 71. The heck it ain't as warm as I thought it'd be. There's a decent crappie. There's a decent crappie. First good one of the day. He's probably nine incher. Maybe a little longer. I can get him in the dang box. Or the checker. Heck, he is nine and a half. I don't believe I'm going to keep any crappie today because I've got plenty in the freezer. Fish here. I don't think this is a that is a striper or a white bass. Right there. I believe that's the first white bass I've caught out of this lake. That might be one of the little stripers they got in here. What I did, I, I was long pulling earlier, as you seen that, using my 11 foot ACC. Oh, I switched over to my six foot ACC. Same jig, same jig head and same uh, plastic. Uh, and this water in here is about 18 to 20 foot deep. And there's three trees down through here under the water. I kind of know where they're at. Oh. Uh, I seem to be catching fish right around seven to eight foot down, but I'm just casting to them now and reeling it back in real slow. That's how I'm doing it here. Another small one. Just dipping it out of my way. fish. You were a big one. A lot of small fish today. Go down about 12 foot and see what happens. We get hung up what happened. We gotta retie. Well, he did want it. Looks like it might be a little better fish. Eh, a little bit better. He ain't, he ain't huge. He might be a keeper if I was keeping him. Be close. Where that old purple chartreuse one? He's close to nine inches, maybe eight and a half. And I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but with a brand new jig and my fingers being all over it, I always put a little scent on it. This is a, a shad scented gel. 
So I just put a little bit of that on there just to kind of get rid of my scent and the plastic scent a little bit. After I catch a couple fish on them, I don't worry about it. When I'm vertical jigging, I've said this in the past on other videos, I usually tie a loop knot. But while I'm casting to them, I tie a Palomar knot. It's a little stronger. And Palomar knot's easy. You can, there's a million videos on YouTube to, to uh, see how to tie them. But it's a real good knot and it's real strong. What I'm fishing with now, folks, is you can see it there. It's a little Strike King uh, micro uh, jerk bait. This water snake had a uh, small bullhead catfish in its mouth, about three inch, three inch bullhead. Probably make a keeper. Eh, I don't know. Probably not. I ain't seen it yet. Tell you what it is. I'll be doggone. It's a flathead catfish. I can't ever believe that. It's not a huge one, but it's it's a decent one. Got him. Six pound test line. He weighs, I don't know if you can see that, he weighs four pounds.
Well, folks, I believe I'm going to call her a day. I've caught several fish today. I've caught warmouth, bass, uh, bluegill, crappie, one big flathead. Well, not a huge flathead, but big for a crappie pole. So uh, it's been a good day. Remember, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, and hit that notification bell. Share it with all your friends and family. I'd sure appreciate it, and God bless y'all.